Hi family, this is the luck mom here. Deborah and Chika is my name. I'm an ex housemaid of Saudi Arabia. And I create awareness on what happens in the Middle East. I also help those ladies who are stuck in the Middle East countries, the victims of human trafficking. And also, uh, if your agent has blocked you, you can just reach me out. I will just help you reconnect again. So, today I have a case of this lady. Her name is Sylvia Mviga Mzai. She comes from the coastal region of Kenya. Uh, and this lady, the first photo, it's Sylvia from Kenya. Oh my God. This, the middle photo, Sylvia alikuwa amewekewa poison alikuwa poison watu wanapewa ngo sumu na hiyo ndio reality lakini Mungu akamuokoa The that photo huyu ni Sylvia amekonda mpaka unaweza unahesabu una mifupa hapa mwanamke ambaye alikuwa sawa ndio huyu amejiliwa sumu hapa hivi amesurvive kifo amerudishwa kufanya kazi ameangaishwa so, the name and lied that the owner died but mwenyewe yako so Sylvia hakuna boss mwenye aliamua sasa ku, after kumtoa hospitali akaanza kumtuma kwa manyumba wa kwanza ale, yani ni mtu amepitia mashida alijaribu kukimbilia polisi akaenda huko akapigwa proper kuna watu wanadhani ingi maybe ukikimbia polisi utasaidika au ma police sometimes wana side na watu wao huyu msichana alipigwa ni mama alipigwa wakampokonya laini zake za Kenya sasa akona ako, wakatoa waka, waka apsi zote wakampeleka unknown destination afanye kazi so hakuna vile anaweza ku, kutumia ana ana WhatsApp ana ni, ni messenger tu anaitumianga kimungu mungu tu messenger so when she reached me out Sometimes back sasa mimi sikuwa namuelewa vizuri juu niambia watu wanitafute kwa inbox yangu lakini akaenda akakuja akapotea tena so msichana mwingine rafiki yake akanitafuta akaniambia like mama wako niko na rafiki yangu akona hii case akona hii shida hivi na hivi na tujui vile tunaweza kumsaidia tumejaribu ofisi au kuna kitu wanasema au msaidi so huu boss ametake hiyo advantage ya kumwangaisha na ndo tamempeleka non destination afanye kazi huko hakuna vile anaweza ongea na watu wao tena the family has tried their best i i reached the office in kenya and na pia kuna maofisi wanajaribu wanashindwa lakini nimepata namba ya tajiri wake hiyo namba ya madam naenda kuiweka hapa tunamtumia salamu za kutosha because we will not we will not we will not accept to see our sister in this condition that madam, if she's watching, I know she will get this clip because I'll be the first one to send this clip to her, her number. I just want to tell you, madam, this is somebody's mother. She's somebody's daughter. She's a human being. She deserves to be treated well. Torturing her both physically and psychologically is not going to, to make sense to any of us. You have to release this lady to go back and see her, her family. She was to finish her contract on March this year, but because of the torture she has gone through, look at this picture and you tell, you look at this one, Uniyabie kuna tofauti gani, our ladies are suffering so much. That is why I told you guys, we are not going to keep quiet. If we can do something to save somebody's life, let's do it. I'm going to share the number of this lady, the sponsor on my Facebook page, the lucky mom, Deborah Nyanchoka, to mutumia salami za kutosha. Uyu ma, pari ya lipeleka uyu, uyu mama, aweze kumurudisha 
at a Kenya at a Kenyan embassy. If there is somebody watching from the Kenyan embassy, Minister of Foreign Affairs, I have the information, even the location of this the, the, of her sponsor. We want our lady back home, safe and sound. Atakuja kunona tu nyumbani. Atakuja kunona nyumbani. Ah, watu anatesa watu vibaya sana. And we're not going to keep quiet. To answer funika funika. When some people are crying for reputation, we also need our people to be alive. We need our mothers to be alive to take care of their kids. We don't want kids to remain orphans to suffer. Na wazaziwa wako. Somebody anakuteza na unamufanyia kazi. It's unacceptable. If you happen to see this video, share it out. Make it viral as you can. Let's create awareness and tell people that human trafficking is real. Modern day slavery is real. Because this lady, hata kama lipereko yu a non-destination, ajawai kutuma hata pesa nyumbani. There is no communication with the family. Na family wanahangaika sana. So guys, number ya huyu mudosi. The number of the boss will be on my Facebook page. The like mom Debra Nyanchoka. Tunamutumia salamu. Sayoyote ile, when you have time, tuma salamu. Tuma salamu. I'm going to share her number. Kabisa tuona kama tutasaidia huyu mwana dada. Because mi nijaribu kumpigia, akakata simu, nikamuandikia message. She didn't respond, but we will try. Najua mungu awezi kutudisappoint. Maybe message yako ndiyo itabadilisha akile huyu mwana muke. Aenda chukuyo msena pinyari mpeleka murudishi nyumbani.